Good morning, Turtle Club. It is 3 a.m. Well, two minutes till three in the morning, Eastern Standard Time, which means it is time for ARC Survival Evolved, our series known as Mag vs. Wild. My name is Mag Synchro with Convertible Turtle Gaming, one of the two streamers on this channel, myself and my wife, Digrat. And we're loading up the island map that we've got very, very little and I do mean very little experience with. Uh, we don't know where half the stuff is. We did some exploring yesterday. Kind of that section down there in the bottom left hand corner until we got killed. Uh, we was dead. And you know, it's, it is what it is. But guys, we are going to be taking a look at what we can do as far as leveling up. Getting some stuff going. Um, we are most likely going to be crafting a whole not load of arrows and narcotics and narcotic arrows and everything that we can kind of go in between uh, mainly because it's going to be just the, the best way for us to get experience points right now is uh, arrows as well as um, uh, boats and while we're doing that of course we'll be taking a look at our plants and looking at our thatch and seeing what all we got here is the uh, Biffy and Buffy. Well, we need to get better at rotating. And none of this has actually made anything. These will probably be... Alright, here is this. Um, we got... Not seeded, not seeded, not seeded, not seeded, of course. So, yeah, I can't expect plants to grow without putting seeds on it. So let's go ahead and grab our seeds, which are in one of these bins, if I remember right. Here we go. We got some narcotic seeds and azelberries. Nope, nope, nope. All right. Citronelle needs to be in medium. Rock carrot needs to be in medium. Savaroot is a medium. So the, the three vegetables, the carrots, the potatoes and lemon plants uh, for what they are those are not small so alrighty then we'll just climb up here plant these and get these going and eventually we'll fertilize these as soon as we have some fertilizers hey titans how's it going glad to see you man And yeah, we don't have anything to do repairs on the thatch ceiling, but it's not taking hardly any damage at all, so we're good there. And now we got our food trough also, which right now we have no meat eaters, so nothing really important as far as that goes. We do know that we have a spino. I'm doing pretty good, Titans. Thanks for asking. We have a spino that's wandering around. We know that spino is going to do really horrible things to us. Uh, there's not much we can do about that. But, you know, just basically pretend like it's not coming and be surprised when it gets here. All right, so we got some oil, which is really cool. Uh, means that when we get some meat, we'll be able to start making jerky. We got our bow, we got a spear. Uh, we're still in that kind of weird in-between space. And it looks like we got hardly any arrows, so we definitely need to make arrows. That's definitely one of those things we're going to have to do is make a lot of arrows. Uh, let me see what our thatch reserves. Hey, Shadow! How's it going, buddy? Glad to see you, Shadow. Yeah, we need... We can make a good amount of arrows. Like 48 of them, so let's do that. You'll see that arrows barely get any experience points these days. And it's just the way it is, though. It's just the way it is. All right, and looks like we'll still be able to make some arrows because it's going through two thatch. So we'll have a little bit of thatch to need to make some more arrows, but now we just need to see uh, crafting tranquilizer arrows. We need the narcotics for that, which we have zero on us right now. And we're going to put this bow here, put these narcotics there. We're going to make all these tranquilizer arrows. 
as soon as we get one, we're going to put that on our four. That's our stun button, basically, is the four. And now we're off to get as much thatch as we can get a hold of. And I think it was it was either Funtime or McAdoo yesterday recommended, um, or actually the, the weekend before recommended, that we really probably need to get a Parasaur and get that thing to get combat ready. So... We will look for a baby Parasaur at some point. Level 3 is baby enough, I guess. And 2 should put it down. Yep, 2 put it down. Sweet. Give it some berries. We'll let that sleep that off. And while it's sleeping that off, we'll uh, do some grabbing here. Because as cool as it is that we can re we can get our arrows back, but the ones that we've laced with the narcotic, they they're just they're done. So I'm just restocking our medjo berries here. At some point, we need to make us a dodo pin. I think that's something that we'll have to take a look at. Where are we out on taming? Yeah, this guy is taming beautifully, beautifully, guys. I, uh, I personally don't like parasaurs in this game. They are one of the more boring dinosaurs, in my opinion. They don't really seem to do much of anything at all. Um, you know, it's not... Th I just never see them as much of anything that I want to really be mounted on riding around. Now, eventually, like a raptor or something? Sure. Nothing, nothing wrong with a raptor or something along those lines. But if we're going to be riding on one of these things, I guess we need to figure out how to get it saddle. Uh, Parasaur saddle, fiber hide wood, one of the more easier to equip. Carbenemies requires cementing paste, which requires the wholesale slaughter of its people. Um, Fiomas, I don't really use them a lot either. Um, I don't know if I really want to burn the engram points on it, though. Oh, we named him. All right, we'll name it Ducky because Ducky was the Parasaur from Land Before Time. You are a male. We should have probably just looked for a female. But oh well, it is what it is. They do run pretty fast, so that is definitely one of those good things about the, the Parasaurs. Um, they're good for transport. And we'll pet the iffies. The fees, I guess, would be what we call them. Alright, he's there. He's got some berries on him. We'll take his berries off of him. And uh, we'll be good. So, alright. Back onto the trek of... That's a male parasaur. If we, get, if we find a female, we'll probably grab the female so we can make the kibble for it eventually. Uh, we kind of need to... Oh, what are these green things? That's probably just, you know, flora and fauna poking out of the water, if I had to guess. I am cold. I am in the water. So, kind of a dumb moment there, right? Is that the Spino? That's the Spino. Ugh. And I don't know what level that guy is. We... <clears throat> I don't know how many trank arrows it would take to knock him down. Boy, howdy. I kind of want to find out, though. Do I have any just raw meat on me? Of course not. Why would I carry something useful like raw meat? Uh, he'd have to have some of our chow. And these things are just violent. Oh, we have something willing to donate some raw meat for us. Come on. Over here. This thing's going to donate some raw meat to us, guys. Oh, great. 
Not enough to tame one of those, though, I'm pretty sure. But enough to at least get us out of a bind if we needed it. Some thatch and some wood. Let's get some flint over here because we just noticed our axe is going bad. And we're supposed to be getting flint anyway so we can start making some more arrows. So let's go ahead and repair this thing while we got the moment. Alrighty. And... Boy, howdy. Hey, McAdoo, how's it going? This thing, I, I, I want to shoot this thing, but I know I, I really don't want to shoot this thing. Hmm. I'm doing pretty good. Doing pretty good. Had date night with wife Digrat today. Had a pretty good time with Digrat. I have no narcotics on hand, but I should be able to make a few just normal arrows. A few, I say. Man. Um, let's go ahead and mute the game for a second. Yeah, let's just pull up the Spinos on the official ARC wiki. And... Taming Spino... Oh, so apparently they won't meander away from there. And we need raw meat. Like, wow, lots of raw meat. These things are hungry little buggers. Okay. Uh, so we're going to need, like, stacks of raw meat to tame this thing. Not just a few offerings. Hmm. So that said, he gets to live for a while. He gets to live for a whole lot while. And he's found piranhas to kill in the in the water. Boy, he's just like a big old giant deadly puppy dog jumping in there and playing in the water. You just stay right over there, Spino. We will let you stay over there while we decide to do what we want to do. Yeah, that's the deal. You stay over there, and we stay over here harvesting all these rocks. I shouldn't be seeing your head that close. Oh, what, is it, what do I need? I need thatch. Oh, that's going to be hard to get with an axe. I need, what, five thatch? Oi. Well, never been so happy to get two thatch with an axe before. There we go. You just stay right where you're at. Playing with all your buddies, and we'll just we'll continue over here doing what we're doing. Pretty sure we know how this is going to end. This is going to end with me in the stomach of a spino. I think we've got um, all we're going to get at the moment. Yeah, you just keep playing in the water right there. You just keep doing that. You donate to the uh, We're Going to Tame the Spinal One of These Days fun. Right, you stay over there, Spino. We, we don't want you to... Yeah, you just stay over there. So fortunately, these guys from they very rarely leave the water, according to the wiki. 
So that means that the the fact that he left the water like he did to cross this uh, body and to go to the other side means that's that's a rare occurrence. So he's not going to head this way potentially. Those things run a whole lot. We'll let the piranhas get a hold of him. Ooh. Pterodon over here. Do we have the means to make Ebola? No, we don't. What are we missing? Thatch, of course. Thatch and Flint. Don't even call this Survival Evolved anymore, guys. Just call this Thatch and Flint Farmer Simulator 2018. Let's craft two of these just in case. And we're going to put that bola on seven, I think. Oh, here we go. He's landed for a brief period, but then he went right back up because the terror Triceratops scared him away a little bit, but he should effectively come back down pretty quick because these guys have pretty low stamina. I don't know what level he is, but he's all the way out here. We got to figure he's he's low enough. Oh, level 19. We may not. Oh, okay. Well, he went unconscious pretty easy. So there's a plus. We're going to put some of these there. Actually, we're going to take all these off of him. Give him a nice little pile of meat. Our first little meat eater, potentially. Providing these things mind their business. Here are my elite 1990 circle strafing skills. Ha. Huh. All right, I'll go back to chopping up your other friend since you decided you wanted to die like him. All right. I don't remember how well our, our stats did for these things, but boy howdy, I remember it took them a bit to, to give it the program. So we're going to dash over here. Jump the dino puppies. Come in here. Make us a narcotic. See if there's anything in the berry bin. I doubt there is. Our oh, berry bin's right here. Oh, we do have some in the berry bin. Excellent. Move these other berries over. Consumables, drugs, make another... Grab that. Grab that one too. I guess we should drop all this stuff off too while we're at it. Drop, 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 drop. Alright, that's good. I am cold. Hey, we're, we're okay with cold. Cold we can deal with. Alright, and you are nowhere near tamed. Wow. Hey, Kevin, how's it going? Welcome to the channel. My name's Mag Synchro. Glad to have you here with us today. Playing some Survival Evolved Arc style. And you need to drink one of these narcotic pots, Mr. Pterodon. You're probably going to have to drink far more than one. Looks like for every piece of meat he eats, he has to drink like two of these to kind of balance it out. So that's not too bad. It could be better. Uh, I've seen much, much worse. 
So we're going to just go ahead here and just start gathering all the berries we can in the area. Check our clock to see where we're at. We're at almost dark, which is great. Horrible, you almost died. Oh, wow, man. What happened? And if you almost died, man, definitely uh, one of those things you probably want to take some time to breathe and get some uh, you know, calming sedative kind of motion or some meditation or something along those lines. Unless you mean like an arc and not in real life. Tornadoes. Oh, man, tornadoes. I am very familiar with a tornado. I uh, I grew up in Oklahoma. I I never seen one up close and personal because for the most part they just they just never came where I was. But yeah, tornadoes are pretty violent. They uh, depending upon where you live, they could be really 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 bad too. All right, you stay there and rest like a sleeping dinosaur, like you had a choice. While we go over here, get to our chem lab little station we got set up here, make another one of these. Luckily, they missed your area. Yeah, man. Uh, tornadoes are, are good like that. Hey, Temper. How are you doing today, man? Yeah, he is definitely going to drink his weight in narcotics. Not a problem per se, but if we don't get some more narcotic production going, we're going to lose this thing. Which isn't too horrible because we only used one arrow to knock it down, but so far we've fed it a couple arrows. And I guess we could always do that. I mean, we could always shoot it while it's down to kind of boost its narcotic consumption, but I'd rather just force feed them to him and not with a bow. Four there. You don't know it? Um, you don't know Ark? Well, Ark's actually pretty good, man. Ark's a, it's a survival crafting game. It's uh, just started. All right. No worries, dude. Oh, oh, your day just started. All right. Yeah, if, if it just started. And I definitely understand it. When your day just kind of starts and you're like, well, this could be total garbage today, or we could actually get a good one today. Oh, yeah, Ark is a great game. Ark is a great game. All right, let's get over here. Come on. Oh, I'm thirsty. Of course I'm thirsty. Why wouldn't I be thirsty? Alright, and this dude, of course, is thirsty. Why is he thirsty? Because he is still conscious. Not all the way. A lot of starting on arc. Yeah, Kevin, I do too. It, it's, it's, uh, you know, I, uh, I've never completed an arc game. We actually were playing on the, the center map. And we switched to the island, and because there, there's actually an overspawn bug on the center, and we didn't know about it, and we wound up having, like, the cave overflow into the, the South River area, and it basically made our game unplayable, which is unfortunate. We, of course, you know, we could use, you know, admin commands, but we try not to use any kind of cheat commands. If a game needs cheat commands to be played, then it's really not a game, it's just a, a puzzle.
This is the first time in a very long while that we've actually played on this particular map, too. So we're, we, uh, and when we played, we didn't get much. We did not get much. We explored a little bit around where we started our base at after we found water and found it to be relatively, relatively safe. Uh, we had no clue where we were going to be at. All right, drugs. Make all three of these. Uh, all two of the remainder. He needs to craft faster before this berry goes down. All right, I don't think it's going to be down. All right, sweet. Come on. Right now we're taming a pterodon in the dark. Uh, we are playing mostly vanilla, and what I mean by that is we have one, and I do mean one mod on this particular game. The tech armor. Oh, Kevin, rough. That's that's no bueno, man. That's one thing that I uh, I wish they would get this game really to have more finish and panache on it. I mean, it's a great game. Don't get me wrong. Love the game. The concept is sound. It, Turtle Club, this game is just great. Um, for the price I paid for it. <laughs> I, I paid like 15 bucks for it when it was 50% off while it was early access. $60 these days is a little bit too much in my opinion. I know Steam had it on sale. Um, it was great sale price. I absolutely recommend everybody buy it while it was on sale. Um... Full retail price on this thing, though, ah, they're going to need to make it actually uh, at least on par with the bugs that a Bethesda game has at launch before I really think this thing's going to be worth 60 bucks. But I've I've gotten like 300 hours out of it for 50. <laughs> oh, pardon me, Total Club. For $15, um, 300 hours is more than what I considered my threshold of fun. Absolutely. Anything that's 60 bucks, I think you need to be able to get bug-free gameplay out. Um, I think that's a AAA title launch type price, and this just isn't a AAA title in my opinion. Not not with the problems it has. You pay like 30. See, Kevin, 30 bucks is great. I, I have no problem with paying 30 bucks for this game. I absolutely worth it. Think this is worth 30 bucks. Um, the dollar amount that I actually would pay onto it, I, I see that being that much. Oh, that looked like that was our pterodon. Now that's a, all right, that's Ichthyornis. Okay, that's not a pterodon. That couldn't have been a pterodon because the torpor was nowhere near that level. Oh, wrong. All right, this, that. Put that over there. But yeah, 30 bucks is more than feasible in my opinion. I know I'm cold. Not only am I cold, though, I'm looking for our pterodon. Um. Wow, she's awfully close, guys. She's awfully close. Man, I usually don't like tames where you basically just sit in the dark and, and babysit it. But I really, we are so low on resources, and we just started playing um, about five hours ago, um, as far as this play is concerned. And so I, I uh, with resources being as, as precious as they are, I think we're going to babysit the pterodon. We can't saddle her. I mean, we are so many levels away from being able to saddle her. But yeah, Kevin, uh, thirty bucks more than more than a bargain for this game. Uh, Fifteen dollars, in my opinion, was a steal. I, uh, of course, I, I, I. I, I I absolutely we'll call this one Terry the Dawn. Alright, Terry the Dawn, follow me over this way. And then you should just land right there with everybody else. Oh no, you don't want to do that? Alright, fine. Come over this way. 
There, and stop. Awesome. So now we will... Oh, thank you, thank you for the GG's, guys. Absolutely. We're going to put some food in its little basket over here. And we will absolutely be able to start doing that particular process of did we fill the food trough up, did we not, and, and play that really, really wonderful game that we play on ARC. All right, put the meat and the berries away. The seeds can go in the seed bin. I was hoping we get another NARC bin, uh, seed, but oh well. Put the rest of these seeds away. Yellow is in there. Over here in our, our materials bin. You there. Come on. And there we go. Terry Don got it. Sweet. Get our stone arrows back. Chop it up for some more hide and meat. And come on. Alrighty, so don't think we need that. These guys, what are you guys trying to do? Options, all right, back, behavior, stance, passive. You two should absolutely be passive because, my gosh, all you can do is gum it to death, maybe. Alright, so Terry, settle down. You two, this way. Have you ever tried modded? Uh, I have, uh, Kevin. One of the uh, servers I play on is super modded. Super, super modded. Uh, like, really badly modded, um, <laughs> to say the very least. But one of the things that I do on this channel is I try to let people know what they're getting themselves into. Um, if you're wanting to play a game, right, and you're watching a streamer play it for forever, then you want to be able to, if you like the game, if you think it's really awesome, then what most people find out is they, you know, want to go home, they want to buy the game, go, man, this was really cool, let's go ahead and buy it, let's go ahead and install it, let's go ahead and play it, and no one wants to go home, install a game like Ark, which is, you know, several gig, and then turn around and say, oh, now all I have to do is download like 14 gigs of mods, and I can do what the streamer is doing on the game. I, uh, I don't subscribe to that methodology. Um, and most of the people that view the channel, they, they're really cool with that. They actually have no issue with that. 22, anything useful at 22? Parachutes, tripwire alarms? Nope. Nothing really for our solo play that we're really concerned about. And you are a male. Well, we missed you in the head. We missed you in the side. And now we gotta hopefully chop you up without any piranhas getting to us. But yeah, I've, I've played many, many modded servers. Um, and it's just not the kind of gameplay that we usually do on the channel. Uh, I play on a Ragnarok server when I'm not playing on, the, on stream. Well, I should rephrase. When I'm wanting to play Ark and I'm not streaming, then we do it on the on the actual Ragnarok server that a buddy of mine has. He's got a, a cluster, Ragnarok, and uh, island map, actually. Hey, Landon. How are you today? Welcome to the channel. The, the name doesn't quite sound familiar, but... I'm also old, so my brain is not exactly as good as it used to be. Down, Dodo. 35 mods. See, you see, and that's just, uh, that's okay. I mean, I don't have anything against people that want to mod the game. But on the same side, it's like you're not really playing Ark at that point. 
you're you're just not. Um, you, you can't say that you're playing Ark by any stretch of the imagination. You're playing something that's inspired by Ark, but no longer playing Ark. Okay, so where is? Okay, we already have our forge, didn't we? Yeah, we already learned our forge. All right, so we need lots of stone, lots of wood. Eh, we're getting there on hide. So let's go get some stone and wood, guys. So we can get away from these dreaded, um, dreaded stone items. And again, it's uh, it's just the choice that we make here, guys. Is and there's nothing wrong with playing on the modded server. I like I said, I play on one uh, very rarely uh, here lately, but it's it's fun. It's great, but. At the same time, um, as being a, I guess you call it a game ambassador, being a, a streamer, you need to make sure that you're not portraying certain things incorrectly. And I've, I've been on streams where the main mod is uh, Pugnacia. Okay, never even heard of that one. Most of the ones that I usually hear about are the auto vacuum sorter, uh, the imprint mod where you've got the nanny that basically raises your, your young ones for you. Um... Or what's the other ones that they keep using? Uh, the Classic Flyers mod, which is so buggy. Classic Flyers mod. The Arc devs keep doing what they can to break that one, I think. And it's not much of a mod. I mean, all it does is allows you to use the Flyers like they used to be. Uh, I've never personally even had Classic Flyers. on When I played, the first time I ever played the game was after the Flyer patch. So people are like, don't you miss the Flyers? I'm like, no, I've, I've never known it. You know, it's, it's always been the world that I've had. And then you run into the issue with, you know, the Xbox and the PlayStation 4. They don't have access to all the mods that we have access on PC. Uh, there's some differences in the, in the mods that are, you know, uploaded and allowable and all that kind of jazz. So... Again, for just playing on the stream, um, we have so many people, even though it's in the title, they already come in and ask, is it on Xbox or PS4? And being able to tell them that it's on PC, but it's mostly vanilla, usually we don't get those questions. Which means that most people are asking, uh, it's super hard, the max dino level for wild dinos is 1,500. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's, that's, that's a bit excessive, Kevin. Uh, if you're going to do that, you might as well do the uh, the prehistoric mod. The uh, the one that's actually the official one, you know? Alright, so... What were we needing? Oh, we were needing to cook some food because we're about to start getting hungry. Alright. Put in some wood, put in some food, light the fire. Alright, so crafting, forge... We need hide, check. We need stone, not check. All right, so we need way more stone than what we have. So just put this away, that away. No, I hate when that happens. But yeah, that's that's uh, that's that's pretty difficult, man. Um, that's that's you know pretty hardcore. I don't know if I could play it that way. Uh, I'm I'm pretty scrub, <laughs> to be totally honest. All right, see you, Kevin. Take care, man. Are we out of spoiled meat already? Because, oh, wait, maybe we have some in the, in the bin. Yeah, we got some in the bin. Good. Because I want to actually craft, you know, it's just all about incremental narcotics at this point in the food. And then we're going to take our pickaxe and just mine the snot out of all the smooth stones that are over there. Alright, take this back, take this back. The more I walk back and forth, the more I think I'm I'm going to be putting some other stuff over there. Let's see here, any, any fertilizer yet? We got one fertilizer. Death mod, S plus mod, and classic flyer. I had no problems with any of them. Don't play on any server. Okay, yeah. If you're if you're on a server, the classic flying uh, mod causes issues. 
Um, but yeah, the S Plus, I've heard good things about the S Plus. I've heard really horrible things on the flip side, though, about the S Plus, though. And it's mainly because the S Plus, uh, if it breaks, if the server ever gets outdated or anything like that, which it won't happen on solo play, but if you ever do get it outdated, um, it, basically all your stuff that you've built gets broken to where you can't do anything with it, really. So that's, you know, that's my main concern with the S Plus. That and the fact you got to make, like, not everything's S Plus capable sometimes, and it just... And you have to make the separate things, and it just, it, it's not bad. I mean, it's not horrible or anything. It's just one of those things I'm like, ah, uh, not really for me. Uh, let's just alphabetize these. Okay. Maybe sort by weight, then? Yeah, there we go. Okay, cool. For now, it's all right. All right, so we got some narcotics. We got some food cooking. Bam. Eat some food. All right, so now we just got to go shear off some stone. And I'd much rather not break up the stones that are the smooth ones, because we're going to need them for metal at this point. But there ain't much we can do about that. Um, I guess I need to stop using my narc arrows on those guys because that's like a really bad waste of resources after all the problems we've been having with getting narcotics anyways ah, I mean I can get stone out of this can't I yeah and that's a nice little thing that's different between the center and the island is those little piles of rocks on the ground I rather like those. Those are nice. They're good for flint, especially, from what I've noticed. But yeah, the death mod is kind of a, an absolute requirement, uh, Foxy, if you're wanting to play a more casual paced game. I uh, It's one of the reasons why I always play with it and I explain to people, hey, this is the mod that we're using. This is the reason why we're using with it. Um, so yeah, out of those, uh, the classic flyers, uh, a lot of people definitely want those. Mainly because they they like the way that they can make their flyers basically uh, teleport across the map when you get going with them. And I understand that. Um, I, again, never playing with the original classic flyers before they were patched out. I, I've never, you know, really experienced the game with that. So I always just thought it was an extra level of strategy in the game. There's some flint... Get some thatch. Get some wood. Repair our axe. Give me the axe. Alrighty. And we're just going through the first level of encumbrance. If that. Yes, that's what I understand as well, Foxy. And my understanding is the whole entire way it works. So there's not going to be, uh, yeah, the snap together system uh, with the overlay capabilities and all that. I'm looking forward to that. I really am. <clears throat> um, I, what I'm not looking forward to it is the fact that um, the, the developers for this game, when they add it, no doubt are going to wind up breaking the game. Because it's just the way they go about things. I, I don't foresee them patching it into the game as well as it could be. Uh, I guess I'm slightly nervous about the way they do that. Here we go. Our tire. Oh, insufficient stamina to jump. We're tired. We're slowing down. We're coming at all these animals with an axe drawn. Um, okay. Yay. You've leveled up. You've leveled up. You got more levels. All right. And then we pet you and pet you. Get your donations. Anyone else donate anything to science? 
Nope, all right. Put that over there. Put the thatch over there. Combine all that. I should make fertilizer out of something before too long. All right. Get to this fire, cut it off, grab our meat. Okay, and grab this and this and these. And I think that's all we need for a forge. Oh, no, we need fiber. Of course we need fiber. And what do we need for the smithy? Metal ingots, which we will have shortly. All right. So, inventory. And we're going to move that over. Move that over, that over. Actually, just take the that. Grab us some wood. Hey, Natsuki! Hey, Mr. McMahon! Welcome to the channel, man. Welcome to the channel. Okay. And we'll put this there. And I... Uh, All right, so I'm guessing I can't put that there either. Oh, wait, maybe I can. Okay, cool. Boom. Glad to hear it, man. Glad to hear it. I'm glad to hear that you're doing good. I am, I'm doing pretty good, all things considered. All right, and had our chat freeze earlier today so I'm I'm just kind of refreshing my chat window every so often to make sure it doesn't happen again. I missed like four or five people and just was mortified at it. Had some new people join the channel yesterday and didn't even get a chance to say hello because of the way things just kind of happened. All right. So put these in the bin. All right, narcotics, seeds, berries. We'll put the berries away. And we're gonna put the food in the food bin because we're, we're getting some pretty decent food. All right. So we're looking for five of those to be able to build our smithy. And when we build our smithy, we're gonna put it along this wall. So, you guys, I'm going to put you right there. And we're going to level you up because you no doubt have a level. Alright, we're going to pick up your donation here. Everything looks good for the intake. Climb up here. Go check on this here. So small crop plot fertilized. It's a seed. It's seedling. Awesome. Well, I really want to tame one of these, but definitely not the 34. That's going to take forever to get its torpor to where we need it. You are level four. You we might be able to deal with. Okay. That looks like we might be able to deal with the level four a lot better. All right. So, and how's how's the water looking like right around our little area? I mean, we could probably build a water pin out here. And be okay with it, I think. Wouldn't have to be too deep. Not too deep. Alright, so. Now we're basically just passing the time a little bit, guys, while we're waiting for those ingots to, to smelt. 
And we're going to pet the iffy, biffy, sniffy, sneezy, snozy, dopey, doc, bashful, all the other dwarfs we got over there. Um, I think we want to do movement speed on these guys. That's where we really want to be on Ducky. And this thing we want to carry weight. Eventually, Terry the Don's going to be able to take us places. Though something was up yesterday, as you usually respond to comments. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it, it's it was just the so there was somebody who said something inappropriate um, yesterday, and upon saying the inappropriate thing, we went ahead and banned them. And I tried to do it at the same time Shadow did, and they uh, and it's it's what locked up the chat. I'm 99.9% .9 sure it's what locked up the chat. Because the chat tried to render the message at the same time I tried to say something. It was just really weird. Alright, smithy. We need the hide, stone, and the wood. Okay. I thought it was just really weird that no one had said anything in a while. But, you know, we're kind of chill and relax. And, uh... So, I was like, well, maybe we just, uh... Maybe just nothing happened. All right, so in the wood. There we go. Wood. Boom. Inventory. Clear all that off. Yeah, that little triceratops is going to have to go at some point. Yeah, we're, we're no longer nowhere near the time or place where I wouldn't be able to respond to comments. So I was... Alright, so now we can actually pick up some engrams to learn these other things. Mainly... Metal, hatchet, and pick. This thing here, this thing there. Let's take all those. That, that, that. This. Don't think the oil's needed for anything over there. I know the pearls are and the metal's needed. Alright, how encumbered am I? Oh, I'm that encumbered. Of course I'm that encumbered. Let's put the charcoal back. That's probably going to be what it is. Sweet. Move the metal. Chat was working on her side. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. That was that was it. Yeah, it was. And when it happened, I was I was mortified. I was. I I, I never want anyone to feel like they're being ignored. So that was that was like one of those uh kind of moments. Ah, we'll make one of them, and we'll make one of those. Heck yeah. And we'll put these there. Actually, as far as I'm concerned, we can drop these. Alright, metal axe. Metal pick. Marvelous. Marvelous. And we are just a metal ingot or two away from being able to do stuff with that. Sweet. And... What else is in this ballpark area? Raptor fishing rods... Bookshelf, I don't think we need to make anything with. Parachutes. Alright, sweet. And I know we... I think we can make hide armor now. Right? Didn't we get the hide armor? Yep. Hide shirt, pants. Um, 14, 20, 38 points. So next level we'll probably get all the hide stuff, maybe. I don't know what's in the 23 range. I think that's Chitin plus a saddle. So yeah, that'll probably be when we do that. Alright, sweet. So now, we need to go start farming these these rocks. Now that we've actually got a metal pick, which makes the actual... Oh, I totally understand, man. I, I, can do, I, I appreciate it, though. I uh, One of the things that I do for this channel um, is I try to treat the viewers the way I'd like to be treated. And the way I expect myself to behave, on the flip side, is how I expect the viewers to behave. So there's, you know, a little bit of... Um, two different directions on that. But yeah, if if I if I'm expecting a conversation to occur, then I I would think that the viewers would also expect that. All 
unfortunately. Once we get to a toilet, we'll be really, really good. We're at least getting a piece of metal for every one of these we break, so that's good. Well, I said that, and then it basically held up not to be true. Oh, there's there's our, our law of averages right there for us. Okay, and this dude's only crime really is going to be the fact that he's just too big. How's our berry supply looking right now? Any? Oh, we got we got some berries. Good. But he's actually over the threshold, so we really just need to kill the Triceratops. This big one, at least. Oh, this is the level four. Okay, well, that's a bit different. That's a bit different. Level four, we can we can take. We have a few narc pots. I don't think we can combat with them though, but we can definitely, we can definitely, uh, Should be really close to going down. All right, good triceratops. You just rest easy and let the let the berries in your inventory do the rest of their magic. And while that thing is snoozing off its hangover that we just gave it, we are going to do our best to grab all sorts of berries. And the seed issue we have is probably about to disappear. I bet if we needed to, we probably could have done that with a slingshot. But I don't think we needed to with a slingshot. Love the metal pick because it gives you much better yield on metal. How are we doing? Oh, we are taming faster than the narcotics are going to be necessary. So we're going to take that off you. We'll take those off you. Yeah, we'll just let you tame naturally. Let's see here. Trike. I think it just needs... Yep. The trike will be so helpful even if when the... Oh, yeah. Exactly. Yep. That, that's one of the things that we definitely wanted to keep in mind is the trike saddle. Uh, we can make it. We just need all the hide now. So we're going to have to get some hide. That's not going to be a problem at all. Now that we have arrows and all sorts of other important things, that spino down here doesn't scare me as much. If the spino wants to come take a piece of our triceratops, it can. Those things are just ugly. Uh, it's saber tooth salmon. Oh, yep, there we go. 
We knew that was about to happen with these wonderful piranhas. We're going to respawn. And we hear the soothing sounds of our pterodactyl. Grab all of our stuff. Put our hat back on because sometimes you just got to put the hat back on and remind yourself who you are. All right. And drop these berries in there. Because why not? Drop this, 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 and that, because we no longer need that for certain. Put the stuff in there. Alrighty, so, um... Oh, those despawned. Okay. How are we looking at here? Well, we're done with that. Or we were, now we're not. And let's go over here. Move the berries and spoiled meat. Yeah, we're going to have to grab us another mortar and pestles worth of materials, clearly. And when do we learn metal pike? That's, that's a... Uh, Metal pick. Um, okay, maybe it's just pike. All right, 25. That's what we're looking for is 25. Put the berries away. Put the meat away. All right. Okay, at the moment... Our bin is full if it's not an egg you're putting down on the ground for us we do not wish to pick it up name your triceratops we will name the triceratops we'll name him Rick as Sherry Bowen welcome to the total club thank you for subscribing really appreciate that all right, come on, Rick, over here. Thanks for the GG. All right, Rick, this is Terry. Terry, this is Rick. Um, all right, there we go. We'll take all these medjo berries off of you. We will dump all the all the extra medjo berries over here. We old pet Iffy and Uffy. I know their buffs don't stack, but uh, you know eventually they're going to be required to have two of them. So, did we get any fish meat out of the colacanth? Oh wow, we didn't. Is fish meat like something that's specific to the center? Because Colican should have dropped some. And those guys are good at getting fish. I never wanted to see a spino go through water and kill so many things that are swimming in it like I did after they killed me. Did it just beach itself? Nope, it's coming back after me. Maybe not. Now nah, it's coming back after me. Come on, come on. I see you, you little... There we go. Come on. Oh, 
All right, I had fish meat on it. Okay, so we know it is. You should have gotten fish meat. Yeah. So the piranimus ate the the colcanth. Kind of bummed about that too. All right, so we know that there's plenty of rocks over here. So we got some fish meat, so there's a plus. And those of you just joining in for hour two of our three hour arc survival evolve stream, my name is Mag Synchro. That's why the title for this is called Mag vs. Wild. We stream three hours of arc on Sunday morning and Saturday morning at 3 a.m. We stream six hours of arc on Monday morning at 3 a.m. All of those times are Eastern Standard Time. And we are playing here, as you can tell, on the island. And we have very little experience with this particular map. Very, very little experience. And the thing with that particular level of experience is I have no clue where the safe zones are. I have no clue where most of the dinos spawn. Um, so that in that particular instance or that particular case, I am very much a noob on the game. Uh, that's... We don't want you to kill us again, Mr. Piranha. But as far as, you know, normal play stuff, like, you know, get your food, get your eating going, keep your food level below half, uh, you know, below full, all that kind of stuff. Those are facts that we are, we are very well aware of. Uh, we've put in probably 300 hours in this great, wonderful game. Uh, don't think it's a $60 game at the moment, but it could be, it could get to that point. And there's our little garden. I don't think we have any narcotic seeds yet. Those are rarer than we want them to be. But here is Rick the Triceratops. And no height either. But we do have some fish meat. Eventually we'll have enough fish meat to tame that guy that's flying around out there. Or to tame one of them at least. Put the fish meat in the smoker. Because that's what we do with our food when we get in back to the base. We put it all in the smoker. Except for our stack of mejos and our food that we're consuming. Um, no narcotics that run. Interesting. Interesting. Okay. And we're getting a pretty good amount of flint. So there's that. Um, put this metal in there. Grab the constructed metal. Turn around. Put it on our smith. Put this stuff away. Well, not all of it. We want to take our arrows back. Okay, so where are we at as far as... We need hide is what we really need. And have we learned gunpowder yet? Because that's kind of one of those things that we need to be thinking about pretty soon. Nope, we haven't learned it yet. Gunpowder, of course, is truck powder, uh, charcoal and spark powder, so... Let's just grab a few of those and make some spark powder while we're at it. That should hit us to the next level, I would think. And the charcoal that we put here. So we'll put that in there so it'll be ready to go when we get back. Oh, we got plenty of spark powder to make 100 charcoal. Wish you could stay. We've got to go sleep. 406, understood. Uh, you're that kid that stay up all night. We gotta go to sleep. All right. Well, thanks. Really appreciate that. Really appreciate that, Sherry. All right. Okay. And seed bin is this one here, so we'll put the seeds up. Put that there. All right, well, thanks for joining, Cherry. Really appreciate you coming into the Turtle Club today and hanging out with us and saying some cool stuff with us. Alrighty, so I'm cold, of course. I'm hot, and then I'm cold, and then everything else in between. We are 
on a journey of kill everything that moves at this point. The rock piles are in the center, only maps I don't remember seeing them is Scorched Earth and Aberration. Okay. Interesting. I just never saw them on the, on the ground then. I guess on the center map, I was never in such dire straits that I needed to, to do that. Huh. And it makes sense on Aberration because it's all underground, my understanding. Here we are. Looking for stuff to kill. Looking at close to the dark. Hmm. There's another pterodon. Oh, trilobite. We'll absolutely kill the that thing. Because those things are just good to kill. They drop so much good resources. Trilobites are... The fact that they're in the, the fire zone on, this, on the other map just hurts. Oh. I'm doing stupid stuff now, Turtle Club. Oh, that's really dumb. We got two of them on us. Of course, it's armored on the head. Ugh. Yeah, we're about to D D D dead. Okay. Okay. Yep, we need to get this away from our base. Before it kills us. I'm tired. This is no good. No bueno. Can eat us some food. Alright, we're still semi-tired, but... Not much we can do. Ah. Just wait for it to come on to us, I guess. Uh... And there we go. Killed by Tyrannus or Triceratops. Yay! I thought, wow, we could do something really, really, really easy with this. And then, nope, didn't work that way did not work that way. Alright, so there is Stella and Alarm, and they should be there we are. Alright, so <laughs> yeah, GG track, absolutely. Absolutely. Sometimes you gotta give a good game to the to the enemies because they absolutely got it. They they skewered us pretty good. We're like, oh, we'll just go get some, uh, yeah, some of that. We'll break some of that off. Break off a piece of Triceratops tail. Seems like it was gonna be tasty. And then lo and behold, the Triceratops said, "No, wait a second. That's my tail." Oh, he finally figured out what he was doing. Oh, well. Oh. I thought this was an actual, you know, loot drop. But no, this is the Triceratops trying to, like, use my corpse. Alright. Well, wow. That was unfortunate. That was unfortunate. All right, so let's uh, let's see what we need to repair this. Fiber and wood. Wow, lots of fiber and not so much wood. Okay. It 
eventually we'll get firearms and the triceratops won't be as vicious but they'll still be pretty vicious I guess we should put our hat back on and drop the other stuff we don't need. Even though this is becoming kind of like second nature. Uh, Alright. Uh, what do we need for the torch? Because it's about to break too. Flint. Why are we not surprised again? Hey, Toby Ward! Hello again, man. Glad to see you there, dude. This is Survival Evolved, primary name, Ark, also known as Loot Your Dead Body Simulator at this point. Um, can I repair that too? Yeah, I can repair that also. Okay, and we'll put the flint back. Actually, no, we won't. We're going to grab all the flint. We're going to grab some fiber. We're going to grab some thatch. We're going to make as many arrows as this thing will let us. It takes two thatch and two fiber for each, so we need to grab some more fiber. Hey, Ryan, you can shut the ground shake off if you want. It is now options. Yeah, I'm, I'm not... I, I actually enjoy the round shake. Um, I, I don't hate it. I am annoyed when dinosaurs with it are, like, around my, my base. Um, but I would much rather know that a Tyrannosaurus Rex is coming up after me with the ground shake. I would much rather have that nice little something big this way comes. All right, and just keep gathering berries at the moment. Delphi should not be up this late. Hey, Zombie Billy. Yeah, man, it's a uh, it's kind of late for you, dude. But it's also the weekend, right? I mean, uh, for you, it's it's like 4:15 a.m. So. I mean, unless you got stuff you do Sunday morning, then it's not that big of a bit of a problem. Like if you got work on Sunday, then maybe uh, maybe you don't. Maybe you go to bed. But hey, man, you're your own person. I'm not gonna tell you what to do or how to live your life. That's that's not for me to do. That's for your uh, spouse and your parents, and more so your your parents. <laughs> if you got them, they will tell you how to live your life until you no longer have them. So cherish every time they tell you that, guys. And we're just getting all the narcotics we can because they're good experience points. Boy, I kind of would like to see like a prehistoric owl. Then again, maybe not. Something like that that like falls asleep in the middle of the day you may not want to have. Friends, oh, okay, well, cool. Uh, Got to work at 12, so yeah, yep. Yeah, oh, totally get you. All right, well, take care, zombie. Thanks for popping in, Billy. Really appreciate it, dude. All right, and... Gather some more of this stuff, because... You never have too much, realistically speaking, of the berries, at least. I think over this way, so store that, store those, store them. That's right, we got some oil for the trilobite. Um, stop storing them there, Mag. Start. Start storing these over there. Like and subscribe, so if you miss a video, you can still watch it. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely, Foxy. Yeah. And you, you never know. You never know. We uh, we stream a lot. Um, a lot more than we used to. Well, I consider it a lot, at least. I'm not a full-time streamer by any stretch of the imagination. I know they exist out there. Um, spoiled meat. Oh, we, we we gotta get this done, taken care of too. We gotta get some we gotta get some fiber or some some hide is what we really gotta get done. Put 
those pearls away. We got some hide. Not the 140 we need. Hey, Nicholas Barlow, how's it going? Welcome back to the chat, sir. Appreciate you stopping in and saying hello. Just doing that arc thing that we do at this time of night. That's a whole empty storage container. That will not stay that way for long. But it will stay that way for just a bit. Alright, so we gotta go kill some dudes. And this time let's, uh... Ooh, what level are you? I don't know what level you are. But if we can get to you... You are female in level 7. Down you go. Put those on you. Alright. YouTuber Cat. Hey, how's it going out? Uh, what games are you looking forward to play and come out? Um, that's a good question. I, uh, I am really, really far behind on video games, just in general. Um... Back when I was a single lad that was a college kid with lots and lots and lots of money, I would do stuff like that and, and just wait for games with bated breath. But now that I'm married, you know, I spend a lot of my time with my wife. She deserves a lot of my attention. And so I don't really scan all the games um, the way it used to be. And so that's, uh, that's just the way it is. Um, but recently, I, I kind of want to pick up, like, Dragon Quest Builders, which is another survival crafting game. I've been wanting to play Divinity 2 Original Sin. Um, that one kind of looks cool. Uh, those are the two that are, like, right up there on my list of things to go and get. But, man, I have easily, like, another... 2,000, 3,000 hours of gameplay in my Steam library alone. That's not including anything that's out of Humble Bundle or good old games or any of my consoles. Uh, for that matter, I've got an Xbox One, um, the S model, and I've also got Game Pass on it, and that game uh, has, that, that particular device has so many games available for it on their service that I may never have to play another or buy another video game again. Um, and I'm so far behind. I mean, so far behind. There are games like Half-Life 2 I've still never played. Um, it's just the way it is. I, it, just the way life happens to happen to us some days. Alrighty. Uh, I know you're going to take some narcotics. Like a lot. I, don't, I think that was sub-30 still, so... But yeah, so uh, so Toby, you're, there's really not a whole lot that I'm, I mean, scanning for. Uh, if an Animal Crossing or Pokemon game comes out on Switch, um, I'm expecting those. Those will be great. Uh, I'm sure when Animal Crossing on Switch comes out, Digret will be all over that. Um, so there's that. But you know, th that's just the way it works. Uh, let's see here. Get my chat window back. That's the one thing we're still saving up for, guys, is that new monitor. Uh, we uh, we might be getting one of those uh, with our upcoming windfall that everybody usually gets about this time of year. What level are you? Level four? Well, we were going to just narc him and then kill him. But it is what it is. Alright, so we're, you're taming about where we figure you should. It's 
So we're definitely getting some pterodons around this area, which is great. Um, because we, you know, we we found them all the way over by the Red Arc, and that's it's a beautiful area. It's a great little area. Um, looks kind of peaceful and nice and serene. And then the copies and the bugs and everything else um, just just kill everything. It keeps on doing it. Um, yeah, I, I don't know, Shadow. I, I don't know what's going on with it. Let me uh, let me see if I can just do it. And we'll just, uh, we'll see if that sticks. Of course, since it, since the chat bugged out last time that I had to ban somebody, we, uh, I, I just want to make sure it's not bugging out on us again. Yeah, really weird. I, I don't know, Shadow. YouTube is just funky, man. Um, funky. I saw you eyeing the berries that are, or the raw meat that was on my dude over here. You can't, you can't deny that. I don't think we're going to need any more narcotics for that one, so we're good on that. But yeah, uh, it looks like a... The good news about people that come on the channel, guys, and say uh, insulting things or hateful things, uh, it means that we're getting attention. And so that's that's the cool part, right? And that's that's the reason why we, we have a real thick skin. You have to if you're going to stream. You People are going to call you all sorts of names, and you can't really react to it. Um, not in a, a visible way, not in an uncool way. There, there's certain people on the YouTube that can. Uh, I'm not one of those guys. I... Life's too short. Life's too short. But we absolutely will ban somebody who's an idiot. Um, we have no problems with that. And um, But when the people that are that way, when the people that are mean and they just want to get attention pop on the channel, it uh, means their channel's getting out there. People are starting to see it. So, so I can't really be too upset with the amount of people we've had to ban recently. Because it means we're getting seen. So there is that. How are you doing? Uh, you might make a liar out of me yet, Donnie. Or Donna. We'll call this Pterodon Donna. We haven't named one Donna. We've named Don. And we've named some Terry. There's another one. Any of the others that we have come down here, we're just going to kill. Because we need the hide. Which means this dude needs to run away. Really, really fast. And dive and take a raise of action and all that jazz. Huh. Hey, Toby. How's it going, buddy? We shot that one with a couple arrows, mainly just to get it out of the spawn range. And it should despawn. Alright, let's get some more flint. Oh, these little slate piles. Bomb Wolf Abrick. Hello. Welcome to our channel. I recommend reading the rules in the description and I'm settling in. Oh, no problems, Terry or Toby. No problems, man. We totally get it, man. Life happens while we're making other plans. We have other things happen. We, we go places. We do things. We get soda, case in point. Drinking some of the really cool green screen beverage. Um, 
I will be watching some other YouTubers play Pixelmon when it comes out. Pixelmon. Is that the uh, Ark Minecraft hybrid thing? Because I looked at that and it didn't really, uh, didn't really make me go, yay. Uh, Bomb Wolf. Uh, bomb wall fabric, maybe? Uh, welcome, welcome. Welcome to the Turtle Club, appreciate you being here. Yeah, you know, I, I uh, it looked okay. I, I just, I don't know. I mean, I've got Minecraft, I've got Ark, and they both have different, very different things that go on with it. I didn't know if, I mean, it really doesn't seem like it warrants a, a blended game. At least in my opinion. But, you know, my opinion doesn't count for, for much in some days. Alright, let's see here. Put the berries there. And spoiled meat. Which I keep saying we're going to make a separate mortar and pestle for, but we never do. We need to do that, though, because it's getting to where it's causing back-and-forthness. Wasted actions. Oh, either that thing tamed, or it was about to fly away. If it was about to fly away, I was going to be a little sad, but that's okay. All right, so you... Options, change name, Donna. Come on, Donna. This way. I'm going to take you to a doctor. You're going to be the Dr. Donna. Just land wherever. As long as you're on the trough and you get the experience bonus. Well, you didn't get the experience bonus, but at least you still get an eat, so... Well, it's not as bad. We're going to get you over here. Come on. Come on. Bring it in. Bring it in. Land. Somewhere just... Just... Come on. Just land. Like, right... Like... Come over this close, this closer, closer, closer. Land like right there, right there would be great. Like if I gotta tell Ducky to come over this way, I will. Uh, okay. All right, you're in in the uh, the range, so that's fine. All right, so now we're gonna go hunt stuff. Um, not sure what that is over there, but it looked huntable. It's only 10 a.m. game time. In Toronto Club, I don't know about you, but we originally, when we played this map, when we first started playing on this particular save file on this stream series, I want to make sure we specify map and series. We hit a parasaur. Are you a pego? You are. Huh. We shall call you annoyance. And we shall... Look at your inventory. Get our berries back. We will give you this many berries. Actually, no. We're not going to give you any berries. We're going to tell you that you have to get your own. Options. Back. Motto, hey, no. Harvest settings. Okay. Fast pickpocketing. Behavior. Enable wandering. You're free to go. We don't want you anymore. Wander around. 
get stuff on your own. Get all the berries. What types of bots do you have? Um, like, what kind of bots are we talking about, Toby? Are you talking like YouTube bots or Discord bots or like remote control robots that don't have a space laser on them? Or, uh... Wow. Those things have some pretty good hit points on them occasionally. I wonder if trilobites can actually uh, be harvested for oil. Cooked prime meat? Well, I got some sad news for you, Mr. Moss Chomps. I know you got about 500 hit points. So you're going to be about 10 arrows. YouTube and Discord. YouTube, we just have um, active. We have uh, Nightbot. Discord, we have a lot. Um, Discord, we have... Uh, so you sort your bots by whether or not they have space lasers. Um, not necessarily Shadow. Um, that's That's potentially not what we said. Oh, that's an Ichthy? In like a really easy to tame area, too. Maybe that's not an Ichthy? I thought it was an Ichthy, but maybe not. Yeah, that's an Ichthysaurus, like in a really easy to tame ish area. And he's a uh, fairly lowish level. All right, we might be able to have a Nicty finally. Fish over here, fish over there. It is burning up, sweltering jungle heats. Yikes. What do my bots do? Uh, all right, so Nightbot's just a helpful chat routine bot. He basically helps us ban people, mod people. Um, he lets us know certain information, you know, frequently asked questions that may happen on the channel. Um, so he's, he's a, he's a, you'll find him all everywhere. Uh, he's also in our Discord, and the reason why he's in the Discord, because the things that he does are just so helpful overall. Just so helpful overall. Um, we also have a Tatsumaki bot, which is a common bot for Discord. It's a social bot. That does a lot of really cool stuff. I am hot, but we're not too hot. Um, this thing may just be stuck here. <laughs> we might be able to tame one because it's stuck. I'm okay with that. So we got we got Tatsumaki. We also have uh, the Google Bot, which is able to uh, do Google searching and Google translating our Discord. Which is very handy when it's up. Its uptime is really horrendous, though. Uh, we have EchoBot, which is a fully customizable bot. It has its own scripting language. It allows you to program it to do things that it didn't come and do outside the box. All right. So this Ichthy, we absolutely have to wait for it to be hungry again. But it has very little room to swim. So we're we're actually okay with this. We are. Mostly happy with how this Ichthy is basically trapped in here with us. Whoa, that thing's got a lot of meat on it. Did we lose the Ichthy, though? Nope, we didn't. Here he is. Or she, rather. Oh, our stamina is low. We uh we have done something stupid, Turtle Club. We need to slowly before we drowned get off this out of the water. So EchoBot basically its purpose is when people join our our Discord, they are supposed to 
do certain things on our rules page. Echobot makes sure that people are doing that. Oh, wow. Hey, uh, win. Uh, die? Win die? Uh, if I pronounce that incorrectly, I so apologize. And there's the ichthy. Hopefully we'll be able to tame it. It'll be the first one we've tamed on stream. And it's level 20, so it means it's still in the, the lower area for taming. Because the taming thresholds are 1 to 30, and then like, or 1 to, through 29 rather, I guess is a better way to say it. over to this rock and get up so we have some stamina it's all about getting some yeah we can't do that underwater Oh well. Because we're still going after experience points that are fairly easy to get, as well as leather. Because we need plenty of hide. Plenty of hide. So, alright. So that Ichthy decided to jet away. But we are definitely getting our fuel of fish. I mean, look at this, guys. Let's go back to the alphabetical sort. One of those fish hunter things we should be able to tame, no problem soon. I want to bet the, the dolphin despawned. Wouldn't it be too surprising. But that's uh that's the bulk of our, our bots. Um What do you like or love about this game? Oh, well, Toby, one of the things I really like about this game is I'm able to spend far less time um, using brain cells to um, micromanage the game. Uh, there, there's a lot of just grinding, a lot of crafting, a lot of stuff that's it's mindless gameplay to a point. Uh, definitely that is part of what I enjoy about it because it means it's one of those games that I can stream and not only can I stream it, but I'm able to converse and communicate a whole lot with my, my player base and my subscriber base. Uh, so the Turtle Club, you know, I, I get to talk with you guys a lot. And it's because I, I don't have to do much um, hyper combo combat-y focus-y things uh, unlike some games like, say, Zelda. Um, Breath of the Wild, or Majora's Mask, or things like, uh, gosh, uh, Fortnite, or or uh, Overwatch, you know, those kind of things. Those are great games. I have a blast playing them, but they require a lot of just attentive focus. Whereas this game, other than, you know, Chase the Dolphin, um, there's not that much there. And so I definitely enjoy that. It, it gives me an opportunity to kind of really just dig down and and just have a good time with all you guys. Um, as far as single player versus multiplayer mode, I really like the single player mode on this because I uh, I don't have to worry about people being just idiots. Speaking of idiots, how far down is this thing's tame meter? Oh, this tame meter reset. All right, we're done. 
The Dolphin's no longer our buddy. We're no longer caring about the Dolphin. All right, so we're back to just hunting things that are out and about, and we'll try to do our best to kill them and skin them. Like uh, that dude. Ah, uh, but not. Okay. That guy got away. He gets to, he gets to stay away. Here's another moss chomps though. Wow, he's like as trapped in here as I I can't even shoot him. I'm just telling myself that the resources for arrows are far less than the resources for metal hatchets. And resources for arrows are far more recoverable than the hatchets. Alright, so we got that guy. He was trapped. Let's go over to Annoyance. Um, oh, took my fish meat. Alright, well, good for you. You took my fish meat. Uh, you know, the dolphin spawn there for the future. Yes, yes. And we'll be able to build some kind of contraption. Okay, well, let's uh, change you to regular pickpocketing then, because you're not doing any good over there. All right, so back to being on the hunt. For things that will give us hide. Is that a turtle? Why, I believe it is. I believe I saw a turtle over there. And a turtle will give us hide and keratin. Which is a nice two for one special. You gotta go out. Might be able to come back to the stream. Okay, cool. We're about to die. We are D D dead. But we're not too upset of being D D dead because we can respawn on our bed. And we're in a safe enough area that we don't even have to burn the uh, this. Um, oh, we got a dodo egg. Yay. No egg, no egg, no egg. A uh, turtle over there, okay. All right, see you later, man. Thanks for stopping by, Toby. Really appreciate you, dude. All right. Drop all that stuff. Big old green light in the sky. That's our body. That's where we died. And it ate our corpse. The thing that killed us ate our corpse. Oh, oh, whoa, okay. You couldn't just leave low enough, could you? All right, we'll find be that way. Wait a second, what's over this way? That's a green, oh, that's by the spino. Okay, well, we're not ever going to find out what that is, guys. Not today, at least. Welcome to Celebrity Pincushion Makeover. I'm your host, Mag Synchro, and we're going to make you look good in the face. That is, if you happen to be a... Oh! Oh! Well, gang up on Mag, is it? Okay, okay. What are we missing? We're missing wood. That's fine. We're fine with that. We will, while we're trying to kill the, the uh, while we're trying to kill these turtles, we will absolutely get the wood needed to kill them the rest of the way.
Go grab our six stone arrows. Aha! I thought I heard something running. Oh, we're down to 12 arrows, guys. This is starting to look a little bit on the, the hopeless side, but I have. How long have we been streaming? Two hours and 50 minutes? Uh, not quite that long, actually. Uh, one hour and 50 minutes-ish, give or take. I need you to die so I can get all these arrows out of you. Thank you. And then we'll go over here, chop this up. All right, so we need this to take less than 11 arrows, less than 10 arrows, less than however many arrows we got left. We're about to have to kill this thing with our hatchet, guys. YouTube has the time wrong. Oh, that's weird. That's very weird. All right. Oh, that was close. Let's grab all the arrows off his head. All right, where is his kinfolk at? Here's his kinfolk. There's the keratin and the hide. All righty. So now we should be able to saddle up a triceratops. Uh, we have all the hide on us. We just need some wood, and we'll be able to make that. Excellent, excellent. All right, so we are 150, 150, 150. We're going to go to some fortitude here. Level 24, we has level up. Stone materials. All right, we will not be learning anything. Hmm, hmm. It's too early for time zone conversions and YouTube tends to round up. Oh yes, this is correct. Uh, YouTube, is, it always freaks me out when I schedule the game, uh, the gameplay, because it's like, you're going to go live in like one hour. And I'm like, uh, no, I'm going to go live in almost two hours. And YouTube's like, nope, you're going to go in live an hour. And I'm like, nah, YouTube, go home, you're drunk. It says two hours right now. I did that last time too. Yeah, yeah. All right. All righty. Crafting saddle. The only saddle we know is the Triceratops saddle. Everybody's going to go and saddle up Rick. And we're going to roll out on Rick for a bit. Once we get to Rick. And we have no narcotics made up, so this is going to be pretty easy, though, once we get on the Triceratops. Gathering berries will be like, bam, and we will have very little berry problems. Hey, Dylan, how's it going, buddy? Glad to see you, Mr. Blackburn. We are starting on a new map. This is day two of that particular start. Alrighty, so this is Rick. Rick, that's the uh, level three military Triceratops. Okay. We're going to up your carry weight. We're going to give you a saddle so you look cool with it. I'm going to put her stuff away. Shadow 132. Oh, McAdoo. Um, 
means he's a moderator. He's one of the people that have been in our community for a very long time. Actually, Shadow is one of the very first supporters and uh, viewers of this channel. And he is one of the few people, um, there's like about 9 out of the 2,000 in the Turtle Club right now, that I fully trust with the, the channel's um, operations, as it were. All right, so let's put put these here, that there, stone away, sure. Uh, put the narcotics and the arrows. We don't foresee us needing to get most of this going on. Yes, yes, and you know we uh, do promote moderators about every about every 250 subscribers, give or take. Um, that's what we notice as far as like viewership goes and time slots and all that. So, and we tend to do it straight out of the actual Turtle Club, whoever's been here for a while with us. Um, all right, so the berries are going to have to come out. Berries are, except for the, uh, the mejos. The mejos are too important. Stack those together, or we can drop that. All right. Come over to our food bin. Put this and these berries away. Not the seeds, just the berries. Let's go to the thatch here. Put the thatch out. Get the narcon the donation back. Okay, boom. Climb up. So fertilizer is still doing good there. So let's go ahead and put fertilizer in this bin because we got a seed in it. You, sir, need to come after me, get away from my base. You're about to die, aren't you? You're Rick, kill the Triceratops. Good deal, Rick. Thank you for that, Rick. Terry and Donna over this way. And let's just go ahead and get some chitin and some hide and some keratin off of this guy. That Triceratops is no longer trapped. Oh, whoops, wrong button. All right, so Rick, you just leveled up. Good job, get you some more weight. Seen other streamers do that too. It helps dropping likes, not bio balls. Hi, your crew. Hey, to go. Um. All right, let's see here. We need to cook some food, clearly. And I, I could have sworn we put you on passive. Biffy and Buffy, were you just? Did you just decide not to be on passive? Stance, passive, okay. They're on passive, but they decided to go try to gum the uh, Triceratops, I guess. Wow. All right, you two come over this way. Oh, it destroyed our compost bin. Rip. Oh, that's that's that stinks. All right, he didn't fight back, so no either. Okay. All right, so where is Biffy and Buffy? Let's get you guys out of here first. Come on. Maybe not. All right. Well, we can get on Rick. Maybe Rick is not going to be over encumbered. All right, good. All right, Rick. Come here. Get off of Rick. I love how fast they fly when they're basically chasing after you on one hand or the other. All right, and a 
compost stinks. Oh yes, Indigo D. The compost absolutely stinks. You uh, create compost by. Um, oh wow, these guys also. They they went nuts. All right, back to where you go. Yeah, literally a stinky situation. Absolutely a stinky situation. Absolutely. All right, so those guys are leveling up. Let's see here. What do we need to craft this? Compost. We need fiber and wood so we can make another one. Parasaurs don't fight back. They run. That's good to know because we absolutely, absolutely need the Parasaur to continue that if it's going to stay over here for certain. All right. All right, we got all the metal crafted that we can craft out of that. Put this metal away. Uh, put this food in here because we have no food. I rather like the idea. All right, you follow me. Oh, you're wild? You're trapped in my base, huh? We will we will get you out of our base. Alright, you two back here. Right in front of the door. Pet you two. Alright, so you have a level. We'll we'll level you both up so you can level up. Good. Alright, Rick stay there. Donna stay there. Terry. Over this way, buddy. Come on. Right here. Land. Or don't. Come on. Nice little swoopy. Nice little swoopy. You are too far away for me to feel comfortable about that. Once we can saddle the pterodons, it'll be so much easier. So much easier. All right, I think other than Ducky and Attilda, you guys are fine. All right, Attilda, over this way. All right, you're buffed. Ducky, come this direction. Please. Come on, Ducky. Come on, Ducky. Yes, 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 yep, 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 yep. All right. Stay. Stay. All right. These guys are petted up. All right. Terry, I don't like you being over here without any experience bonus because you have so many experience points you have to still get. Oh, it's walking. We can do with it walking. Wow, why don't you why don't you just walk the rest of the time? Oh well. Alright, here we go. Here we go. Alright. Lots. All right, we're just going to wait for it to get its energy back. And then once it gets its energy back, we will go ahead and get some more berries. And this is just this is just the best way to harvest berries, guys. That's why I was so happy to get this Triceratops going. We are going to have the production for Narco Berries that we wanted. Just by gathering it. Of course, we do sacrifice some fiber in this direction. All right, and back over here. I mean, look at this thing's inventory at this point, guys. Look at this. Bam. Seeds for days, except for narco berry seeds. But, you know, we understand that those are really rare at this point. It's 
about got its fill, though. All right, so we're going to go back now to our camp. I'm going to kind of run and rest, run and rest. And stop. Kind of just gingerly walk. <laughs> and maybe that's just not English. Could be somebody that doesn't know how to say hello, I guess. Okay. Maybe, maybe it's Indonesian. According to Google, it might be. All right, so let's just try this then. All right, and here we go, Tracy. Well, I guess we can't call it Tracy anymore because Tracy's dead. Right. So, grab all the narcotic berries and the seeds. All the seeds in general. We really need to make just a separate food trough so we can drop all these berries in there too because our stuff's out there. From what I've seen, melee helps with harvesting as well as fighting. Interesting. Um, huh. Well, that's Donna. Okay, I was like, wait a second. That was weird looking. Okay, this one's got... It is not seeded and not fertilized. So we will seed that. Oh, we need to put our... our this down also. Yeah, um, that is interesting. McAdoo, I'm not 100% sure that's what that is, but... Uh, if it does work that way, but if it does, it's way cool. All right, so we'll put in the thatch materials. Uh, we will grab some thatch because we definitely need some thatch. Find us some trees over here. Boom. just I'm just eating way too much stuff way too fast I don't I need to I need to get my something going on like my stamina or something I mean hmm all right so over this way All right, so put this in here, put the thatch in there. Uh, we'll just go ahead and drop that at this point. I think we're about to get another level turtle club. I would like to get two more levels during this play session, but you know, whatever, whatever happens, happens. Stack that there. All right. Uh, stem berries, snark berries. Oh, we can't put all that there. We do need to grab that. Those can be grabbed out and put back. Consumables, drugs, narcotics. Craft all those. Over here, grab all the spoiled meat we have. These we'll grab. We'll do this. We will split all. Which should give us plenty of spoiled meat in a little bit. Consumables, drugs, craft all those. Do we have the stimulant recipe? 
We never learned it. Okay, just looked it up. Melee does help with harvesting. Oh, good, McAdoo. So once we get the, the weight to a, a decent amount, we'll probably start leveling up the other stuff. Um, come on. We're waiting for this to meet the spoil. And this is a game mechanic, uh, I want to say abuse, but leveraging, maybe. Um, if you do the split all like this, it makes this all this meat spoil that much faster. And there we go. So now we should be able to, be able to make more drugs. Craft all those. And then craft all of the stimulant that we can make. And this should probably level us up. We'll be we'll be happy with that. All right. And what are we waiting on to level up into next? Uh, crossbow. That's gonna be good. So we need to start gathering stone at this next juncture, guys. I think we are on our way to daylight. Yes, we are. So out comes the axe. And time to just go harvest some stone. Actually, we probably need to take a look at what a Paris for Settle takes. Um, decent amount of hide, fiber, and wood. Okay. Wow. I never knew that you could knock them out like that. Um, interesting. Okay, uh, well now. Um, yes, the pike. Oh, thank you. And the crossbow. We'll take both of those. We'll take absolutely both of those. Um, we're going to make both of those. Absolutely. Absolutely. Bye bye, Parasaur. Uh, at least they're they're easy to run off. That's what I like about those guys. They're uh, easy to run off. Okay. And we don't appreciate demands, so we will just go ahead and ban you, basically. Conversation start with hello, guys. They don't start off with demands. They don't start with ultimatums. They start with hello. And if you're going to start yours with a demand or ultimatum, then uh, we will just not, we'll just not be friends with you. Um, Pike takes what? Hide, right? Yep, hide, and the crossbow. We are so glad to see this pike come up in our actual stuff. Bam. We can now start killing dudes left and right and up and down and forwards and backwards and every other words that we need. All right. We are so happy to see all that. Uh, let's see here. This thing weighs 10 pounds, so it's just as much as a crossbow. Okay. And we will go ahead and arm it. Just in case we need it to be armed. I don't think we need the narcotics. Because we're just going to go and gather just basically all of the stone we can get to start crafting some things. And the hide we can just make over there. The gunpowder needs to be over here too. Uh, let's go ahead and get the, the meat. Put the meat in the fireplace. The seeds we can go over here. And I think all these take medium plots, right? Small, medium, small, medium, 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 and medium. So all the foods. So there's what was just the, the salver root or the, the grass. It was one of the two. Long grass. Long grass takes so long to, to grow, but it's worth it. Eventually you can do all sorts of good stuff with it. Pet the, the dinos. There we go. Alrighty. Time to... Well, first thing we're going to do is just shoot him right in the face.
copies take raw prime meat and are basically a pet passive tame. Oh, neat. Eh, well, we're, we're just getting rubbish and rubbish and rubbish. But that looks useful. I like how we have all this underwater stuff here. I really do. I think that's good. I think that's really good. Uh, let's go check annoyance. How you doing, annoyance? Uh, we can up your level. Your food's going down, buddy. What, what's up with your food, man? Because we've changed your pickpocketing. We know you're supposed to be able to get berries and stuff. Uh, harvest settings. No? Behavior? Back. Wow. So... Huh. You don't know much about this game, but just enjoy looking at the scenery? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, that, that's kind of how I got involved with it to start with, um, Dylan. Let's turn off your pickpocketing. Then go to fast pickpocketing. Maybe that's what you need. I don't know. All right. So here we go. Alright, it's just going to run away. It's fine. But yeah, there's definitely nothing wrong with just enjoying the, the way a game looks. I mean, that is... There's been a number of games that that's how I started playing. It was just, boy, this looks like a great game. And then played it, and in some cases, it wasn't. In some cases, it wasn't. Never figured out how to use the... Pickpocket. Um, Pickpocket is multiplayer primarily, but they're supposed to gather berries. Oh, that's a, that's a good haul. We will absolutely not be upset about that at all. Where'd he go? Did I... So, we were coming out here for stone, but, lo and behold, this is where all the hides been hiding, so. It's on Xbox as well. Yes, Dylan, it is on Xbox One. And it is a very good game on Xbox, from what I understand. I know our very own GTA 5 girl, um, Laura, our mod, she plays it on PS4, and she enjoys it on console. So I would not doubt for a second that it's a good console game. And the controls, my understanding, are that the controls have been reworked. It's it's a little bit cumbersome when you have to type stuff in and search for things, my understanding, but oh, that's great. What do we have on person that is so heavy other than our tools? Oh, we got some stone just for being us. Oh, I, uh, I can't argue with that. And again, we're just going to go to the first level of encumbrance. Well, we were. But this is a big old rock, right? So. Alright, we can still move. Sweet. Awesome, awesome. Makes you want to buy an Xbox One now. Oh, well, Dylan, they uh, had a pretty good deal on them at the beginning of the year. Uh, Xbox Ones were like 150 I think. That's what I picked mine up for, I'm pretty sure. Is It was like 150 maybe uh, 200 something like that. Well, since we can't figure out what's going on with Annoyance, we're going to... Uh, 
we're going to feel bad for them, so we're going to give them some berries, providing we don't wind up, you know, over encumbering ourselves to the point where we can't move. It's getting close to that. Boy, running so slow just makes me want to. Yeah, it's all the stone and all the wood that's doing it. Oh, well. Serious quick catch up. Got to be happy with that. Yeah, um, absolutely, Indigo. Absolutely. I'm uh, I'm employing a couple of the strategies for leveling quickly, and I, uh, you missed that. Oh, no worries, man. No worries, Dylan. They'll have cells like that all the time. With tax season right now, um, you're going to actually see things like computers and consoles and video games and cars and all those things that we basically tell us we don't have the money for an extravagant purchase like that. Those things are going to get some kind of enticing discount. And, uh, you know, that's just because human nature is when you get a big lump of cash from your tax return. And most of us usually get a good lump of cash from our tax return. Um, it's going to... Uh, oh. It's going to be basically uh, a way to afford all that kind of stuff. And... This thing looks super trapped. I'm hoping it's super trapped. It gets free, I'm dead. And so just wait for just wait for that to come out, man. Um, that's all you want to do, Dylan. Is wait for those kind of deals to come up. And even if you're not an adult, I mean, if you're a you know a grade school kid or a college kid, you know, um, or high school, I rather should say, not not college. But uh, even if you're not, you know, a, an adult with taxes that you follow yourself, you can take a, a good portion of those. You can do more on PC than Xbox. Yes. This is true. Um, That's the way any kind of PC game works. Man, that is a trilobite. And these things are going to be like greased lightning in the freaking water. Oh. I need this thing to get out of the water. And die. As, as important as some of these resources are, some of this wood we're just going to drop, like all of it, because that is that is oil, guys. And chitin, more so because of the oil. I saw another trilobite. There he is. Oh, a black pearl. Oh, yes. That is the stuff right there, guys. We are going to need so many black pearls later. Oh, is this another trapped uh, Triceratops? Oh, wow. It's absolutely another trapped Triceratops. We'll kill it, too. Don't have a very good PC, good finding PCs? Oh, well, no worries with that, man. No worries with that at all. I uh, I used to build PCs. Like, my, my dad owned a, a computer business. And I, uh, once upon a time, that was a big deal. Um, these days, everything that I get is uh, custom, or not custom built, but pre-built. I, an older version of myself would have sneered at myself because of that. Long, long time ago, but these days now, man. Building the PC yourself is not anywhere near as affordable as it used to be. 
Yeah, and console games are great, man. I, I play a, a good portion of console games. Yeah, this thing would kill us if it wasn't stuck in a in rock somewhere, so we're just gonna we're going to take our haul and we're gonna haul it all the way over here. No hate on this stream. Yeah, no hate on this stream. We uh we believe everybody gets the right to talk, everybody gets the right to have a good time. You know, if you wanna come in and, and ruin everybody else's good time, then we uh we'll just we'll put you with the other kids that wanna do that. Put that fish away. Put some of that raw meat away. Oh wow, good amount of raw meat we can put away like that. Excellent. And we'll just put this material there. Put that oil there. I don't know why we're wanting to store it there, but we just will. Put some thatch there. Put black pearl. Those are going to come in so handy later. So handy. All right. So back to what we really were doing, which was gathering stone. So we can start making some some actual walls. Some, you know, some uh, gating to this community over here. Because we know that Spino is going to get to us eventually. Love my metal pike. So happy to have one again. Our poking stick is back in our inventory. We didn't have to even transfer it from the other arc. And that is something we could have done, guys. We, we've, we proved that we were able to make it to the Red Arc on this game. So we could have technically went on our center game and transferred every single dinosaur and even our survivor over to this game. Um, but that would have created some complications. Much like you've seen already on this stream where I had a, a reset because when we came in, we had all of our talent points refunded. Um, certain things that I should have been doing or could have been doing, just, I, I couldn't. I couldn't build a bed, I couldn't build, um, a door. I mean, just really stupid things that I should have been able to build. And that's because we kind of had some stuff built that we just weren't really, you know, needing. Um, and had some stuff built that we just, you know, we needed. So, yeah. Um. I hear you, little, little dude. Yeah, that thing we're going to wind up. Oh, there's a turtle. You want some of this, piranhas? You want some of this, piranhas? Come on, piranhas. I got my poking stick now. It ain't so tough when I got a poking stick, are you? I didn't think so. I didn't think so. That dude's going to eat that piranha. We'll let him have the piranha. He absolutely gets that piranha. And I know McAdoo and everybody else at home that are cringing that I'm using the axe on these. We just want the, the stone more at, at the moment than the metal. Alright, and we're just going to kind of hobble our way. Oh, Phineas and Ferb, man, it's a great show. Great show. Oh, well. Had some good music in it too. Phineas and Verb had some good songs. And some good game tie ins, like the uh, Where's the Water game. That was pretty good. Oh, it's a copy on a stick. The rock will respawn. Yes, it will. I know it will. 
I, a lot of people, uh, you know, tend to want to tell me about it, so I, I, I try to do my best to assuage people. Oh, I'm, I'm not moving fast enough. Oh, it's a parasaur. I got boxed in by a parasaur. Those things will be the death of me yet. All they do is run. They don't attack. They don't aggro. But lo and behold... I know I'm encumbered. Ah, so close, so close. Oh, Collusion PR, awesome, man. Glad you have Ark on the PS4. I know a number of people that have it. This is on PC. It's a great game on either console or on the actual PC itself. Um, I, uh, I enjoy it. It's a great game. All right, let's put these there, those there. That there. Grab the narcotics. All right, crafting stone. We need some wood, which we're actually running kind of low on, all things considered. Huh. What kind of wood we got over here? What kind of wood we got over here? Yeah, no wood. We have no Havana's turtle club. And so we're going to grab it there. Nope, no mods, man. No mods. Uh, as the description of the video states, this is nearly vanilla, meaning it's almost mod-free. There is one actual mod, um, and it's used very sparingly, and it's the death assistance mod, where if we should die, it'll let us loot our corpse anywhere on the, on the system. All right, so... Man, the, the trilobites are, uh, hmm. I, uh, all right, so we just need to go gather wood now. We gathered enough stone to kind of start doing what we want to do. Now we just got to go gather wood. And, of course, uh, kill anything that we come across that looks like it might be killable. Come on. Hello, Parasaur. All right, we'll just let it run away. Eventually, we'll get to where we can actually kill those pretty quick, but not today. Yep, the Gravestone mod. You got it. Collusion, you got it, man. And that's mainly uh, not for a play choice, but for a stream choice. Uh, since we're streaming this particular game, and we know it, a lot of what we do on Ark is grindy. We get that Turtle Club. We understand that Turtle Club. So, oh, hey, it's a copy. And so because it is grindy, because it is a time-consuming portion of the game at times, we do what we can to speed it up. I don't know if we killed the tree or the dodo first, but I, th I think it was the tree first. But other than that, Collusion, uh, we are using, for the most part, base level stats. Uh, night speed is two times. Taming speed is two times. Um, everything else is as basic. So experience gain, all that jazz, is just regular arc. Spear through the head. Actually, that's a level 30. It's going to take a while to die. This one we might be able to kill in like four spear hits. All right. Take out the spear. Two hits for that, and we're just about leveled up. All right, get back to our base now. And remember, guys, today is Skyfall Sunday as well as Skyrim Sunday with Digrap at 8 o'clock a.m. Eastern Standard Time, which is two and a half hours from now, which means we only have a half hour left on this stream, give or take. There will be a Skyfall Sunday mode. Um... Exactly, exactly, Collusion. Uh, that right now is shaping up to be Mag's choice based upon, again, the last digit and the donation. 
Um, that will be the way that will shake out. Um, and I don't know what I'm going to play. I, I, uh, last week we did Scrap Garden. It was really fun. I had a good time playing it. It was really cool. It's a really inexpensive game. Two, two and a half dollars on Steam. Uh, we got, uh, for every dollar we put into it, we got about an hour of gameplay out of it. Um, so that's, you know, not bad at all. I think that's a good measurement usually is how many dollars do you put in it how many hours you get out. And uh, so we'll see what happens with that. We'll see absolutely what happens with that. All right, so we are going to... All right, we got the wood, we got the stone, we got the beet. All right, stone out, thatch out. Oh, we are too heavy to carry stone and thatch. Crafting. Stone. How many of these can we make? We can only make two. What is our choke point? Wood, maybe? Nope. It looks like it might actually be the stone. Okay, good. We'll make two more of those. Okay... And, oops, we're trying to transfer that, transfer that, transfer that, transfer the stone back. We got another level up available. We're very happy with that. We're going to drop them over there. Um, let's see, can we make any spark powder? Do we have any spark powder is a better question. Oh, we got berries just spoiling in here. We need to get rid of that. We need to get rid of that. We need to get some spoiled meat. Do we have any of that? We do have a little bit. Uh, looks like this one's about to spoil, so we're going to go ahead and do that split all trick we showed earlier. Split all. And put that over here as well. Okay, and so level up is available. Oh, okay, we need to do that too. All right, Fortitude goes up. We are now level 26, so we're, we're booking it, Turtle Club. We're actually doing pretty good. We're doing a lot better than we thought we were going to. A Stego Saddle, we don't need. Stone Pillars, we really don't need. Are there any things at this point that we want? Well, we talked about how we'd really like to have the toilet, but that still weighs off. Um, maybe the rifle? Is that something we can learn? No, nope, we can't learn the rifle yet. We get the gun and the rifle at 35. So it looks like there's not much at the moment. Hmm. All right, so we we have... Oh, we, we ran out of fuel. Okay. So we need lots of fuel. Let's just go grab some thatch, because we've got plenty of charcoal right now. And thatch is super lightweight. Nope, we thought that might have been a squatty tree, but you don't know sometimes with the, the graphics on here, guys. It could be a tiny tree. It could be a large plant. Just wrecking ball stuff as we go around. Oh, I'm tired. Of course I'm tired. Why wouldn't I be tired? So, yo, guys, in about 2 hours and 20 minutes, it'll be Skyfall Sunday. And that will be, in about 20 minutes, we'll be having a 2-hour break before that. So we can get some rest, relaxation, and some health uh, back. Um, actually, we'll just put those in there. And we'll tell it to, actually, we can't do that. Ugh, I wish we could. It'd be really good if we could just put them all in there to spoil, but we have to carry them on our personage. All right, so we will just split stack, split all on that one also. And here we can go and just put the spoiled meat over there. Make the drugs. We got the thatch to cook us up some food. Light that fire. All right, so... 
put the charcoal. Actually, charcoal needs to come out of there. Put the stimulant. It's a whole lot of narcotics. We just keep there. We just keep the oil in there because it never goes bad either. Alright, so. Inventory stone. Yeah, we know that will snap to, and we need that like there, so oh well. Uh, how's the iron doing? Um, Foxy, I'm glad you asked. Um, looks like the iron just stopped. And we got we got one piece. I'll grab those. Alright. Put the raw away. Uh, we got like five pieces, so not as good as we'd like it to be, but it's getting there. Um, okay, we need to make some thatch stuff. Thatch. Two of them will be fine. And we will put those... Crafting inventory, put that, put them away, put that away, put the wood away, the fiber away. Grab that food, put that stack of meat over there, that stack of meat over there. And consumable drugs, craft all those. Grab them. Okay, and I got those as well, so good. We got our spacers. That's what we we're hoping for is our spacers. That, that, and one stone, two stone. Hmm. We weren't wanting that to be the case. We we're so hoping that wasn't going to be the case, Turtle Club, but it is what it is. Okay. So, is there a stone fence foundation? Stone. Gravestone, stone stone, stone ceiling, stone frame, stone fence foundation. All right, and crafting. And it's going to require us to have 15 stones, some thatch, and some wood. Ugh. All right, so we're going to go over here. Stop that. Demolish that. Demolish that. Thatch. We need fiber. All right, wooden fiber. Okay. All right, take that, take that. Take this and this, and we'll put that where it needs to go. Those we ain't too worried about. Okay, so put these in this bin. Actually, you know, all that flint we got, I think I'm going to take it and make arrows, because I need arrows. Because we have zero arrows, or awfully close to zero arrows. Those are seeds, which are doing great. Yeah, that one piece of metal. Okay. Wood back that back. Those can go back as well. Grab this thatch. Crafting arrows. Craft all of those. And 
This might level us up to the next level, guys. Doubtful, though. Arrows are pretty bad for leveling at this point. Um, I guess we could try starting making gasoline a little bit, too, but I don't think that's as needed. All right, so we got that. Oh, Spino. Oh, Spino. Is this about to happen, guys? Oh, Spino. Um, he's getting way too close to our camp. Well, we got him treed. This will work, probably. All right, Spino, die. All right. Um, yeah, GG. Uh, he uh, kind of had it coming. And that was definitely will level us up. All right, a little bit more fortitude, level 27. And stone dinosaur gateway. Takes 31 engram points. Yikes. And the gate will take a few more. All right, so we got a ways before we get to that. Oh, hello, trilobite. Will be scooter, chitin raw meat, oil. Yes, definitely all about the oil, guys. All about that oil. And that spinal just got too close before we could really do some tames. Um. Would have taken way too much meat. Didn't have anywhere near the meat for it yet. Need like a hundred meat to tame that thing. It's real sad to see that happen, but it is what it is. But we know that that uh, Spiner really liked us, so he will be back. He will be all Frosty the Snowman up in our business. And we're just out here, guys, at this point, looking at the clock. It's getting close to dark. We usually do pretty good at ending our gameplay on dark, so that's that's definitely a plus. It's one of the things about the multiples of three that work pretty good for us. At some point, we need to make a uh, Parasaur saddle also. We were in the process of doing that, and then something else happened. I can't even remember what it was. Alrighty, and... Just looking for them smooth rocks. They got a better chance of having metal in them. Wrong button. 
need is three meat, which should get us about halfway. Alrighty. Well, we're getting pretty full on inventory space. Oh, we were afraid that was going to happen. Well, maybe we'll ford this river a little bit different. Maybe we'll cross over this way instead. So we get to play our favorite game, shark or dolphin. I'm pretty sure that is a dolphin. Uh, actually, that's a saber tooth, something or other. You know, it'd be kind of neat is if they had fish food that would let you like tame the fish. Make yourself like a little koi pond. Be helpful. Yep, and there we go. Once again, making stuff that should go in the thatch bin. Getting dark, Turtle Club. And that looks like a pego. All right. And we'll name you Bait. Because that is your go in life is just to be bait. Is that an Ovi? Sure is. You want to talk about things that run fast, Ovi Raptors are definitely there. You, sir, we will say options. Nope. Uh, no. No, no, no. Uh, behavior, enable wandering, and behavior, back, yep, you're on fast pickpocketing, so may the odds be ever in your favor, little dude. Oh, maybe one day, absolutely. Hey, whoa, look at that. Dun dun. Look, guys, it's a turtle shark. Dun dun. <laughs> and it's moving like it's in the water, so it must have clipped through the water table, is all it had been. Alright, we'll give you guys a nice petting. And we'll up your hit points. Everybody gets their hit points updated or their, their stat points, whatever is going to be more useful for us. That was all Tilda. Here's Rick, and we understand that his melee is going to go up as soon as we get. That's as, as soon as we get certain things going for that. All right, let's go over here. We got plenty of feed chow inside the chow bucket, and we're going to up his weight. Once we can get on a saddle for Terry and, and Donna. We'll be right where we want to be with them. <clears throat> hmm, hmm. Let's see. No fish food. Regular food. Sounds good there. Couple blobs of oil, some chitin. 
lots and lots of arrow material. No thatch, though. Good amount of metal. Surprisingly more than I was thinking we was getting. Uh, we get any, we have any wood over here to use? We do indeedly. Awesome, awesome. Put that blob of oil away. We want to keep the threads. Put the hide away. We want to keep the arrows. Put the stone away. Keep the thatch. And I think we finally know what goes in this bin. Trophies. Because why not? Why not Turtle Club? Alright, so the next thing we need to do is get to some wood. Some trees, so we can get some thatch. Though we are getting to the point where our resources are going faster than we're harvesting them. But that is also part of the survival crafting mechanics. The way the game is built is as you get higher and higher, the stuff that you're using, the materials you're burning through, should absolutely entice you to get outside your safety zone, find a different place. So we eventually will head that direction. But right now, we're just content with building a truckload of arrows. Exactly 100? Why was it exactly 100? I know we had plenty of that. Oh, it's because of the, the fiber. Wow. Well, now. Interesting. Dun, 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 dun. And we'll see here. Bait, you're out wandering around. You're fast pickpocketing. Have you managed to find any food yet? Nope. So maybe that's something they added to the dinos in the center, I guess. There's all our dinos there. Grab us some more thatch, or fiber rather, which is in the big giant fiber bin. Crafting, arrows, all the arrows we can make there, boom. Awesome from level up and trank arrows, yes. Absolutely, absolutely. Um, we're doing pretty good there. We are doing really good on our water so far. And between the narcotics and the trank arrows, I think we're going to have a pretty good balance between things. Alright, so... That may be dangerously-ish far for us. But far be it for me to be scared of a little danger. Probably going to twitch a little, guys, because whatever's in this water that wants to eat us is probably going to get a good chunk out of our calf. the revenge of a cola can to say the very least and we got a few minutes left on the stream we're looking about three or four we sometimes go a little bit over that's you know that's the way good games are guys when you got a good game that you plan um you can go over you know it's this is one of those things that happens you get busy you enjoy it you uh you go over of all the ways that i thought we were going to die <laughs> I was not expecting drowning to be one of them. 
Oh, good. It looks like we didn't drown, so there's that. And that's a plus. Your plant should be ready by now. I'll uh, absolutely take a look at that. And just to, uh, before we go get log off, McAdoo. I don't know if I'm going to make it all the way to there before the thing despawns or not. Oh, well now, aren't you a beaut? Yeah, I had despawned before we even got there. Well, pray tell, are you, you beautiful, big, oh, male brontosaurus. All right. Level 13. We know he's over here now. We probably remember that from when we went over to the red. What do you want? Rare mushroom. All right. Well, you can you can forget about that, too, because we don't know where we can get the crystals at yet. That's where you get red, rare mushrooms at most of the time is from crystals. And there's another spawn point right there, but that one's going to be a little even harder to get to. Yeah, you are just soy bacon. That's all you are. You look enticing, but you don't provide us anything that we want. Insufficient stamina to surface. That's not good. That is not good, Turtle Club. We're going to see if we have sufficient stamina to swim. Aha! That's kind of what I think about drowning around here, too. And Turtle Club, it looks like we're going to make it back to our base in time for dawn, which means the next time that we play tomorrow morning at 3 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, we'll be ready to take on the day and uh, keep grinding away. We're at level 27, so we're about 11, 12 levels, somewhere around there, from being able to get back on a flying mount and just start really tearing up this map and seeing what we can get ourselves into. Alright, and we will check on our plants as we stated before we go to bed. see here all right climb up that's what we're looking for all right so this is uh, fruiting excellent excellent so now we're getting some narcotic berries that's good to know and we should be able to learn medium plot our next level up so, oh, an ichthy, huh? Yeah, that's one of them flying little... Basically, it's a flying pegomastics. That's the reason why we have them out there. All right, that's fruiting. That doesn't even have a seed in it. What? Is that because I grabbed the wrong one? No, maybe it is. Yeah, that's because I grabbed the, the wrong one, maybe? I have no clue. This is... Oh, it's a middling. Okay. Yeah, flying pain. Yep, ichthyornises. They certainly are. We got enough fish to tame one. We got enough narcotics to tame one. We just don't really want to tame one. That's what it all boils out to, actually. Alrighty. So we don't have a torch. We do have some meat we can grab. Put that there, that there. Consumables, drugs. Craft all that. And we got a little bit of thatch. We got some pretty good arrows, though, so I think we're good on the arrows. Pull them out. We'll leave those berries in there. Stem berries we're not too worried about. We 
We know they're good for making stimulant and for making uh, stimulant arrows. There's only like one dinosaur that we even need stem arrows for. And I think that's where we're going to call it, guys, at this point, is we're, uh, we're doing really, really good, considering what happened just a week ago. We're back up to 27. We were at 59 on the other game, so we're almost, uh, we're getting close to halfway to where we want to be, so way cool on that. Um, super shout-out, of course, to Shadow, our mod. Thank you for making our day a lot easier, Shadow. Really appreciate that. And for all you guys that came in to say hi, uh, McAdoo, uh, as well as Dylan, um, Indigo, let's see here, like, like Dennis Swinton who popped in, and let's see, looking for any other names I recognize, uh, Cherry Bowen who came in to say hi as well. Really appreciate you guys all stopping in. Uh, we're going to play some more Survival uh, Mag vs. Wild tomorrow night, guys, at 3 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. In less than two hours at 8 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, we're going to be playing Skyfall Sunday, my choice of game. I'm going to go through my game library, watch a little bit of TV, eat some uh, dinner for me, uh, breakfast for most of you guys out in the United States, and we'll see what's going on. So guys, have a good morning, good evening, good lunch, good breakfast, good dinner, whatever you all are about to have. This is Mag Sync with Convertible Turtle Gaming saying have a good one, take care, and see you soon.